Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between JDG and Weibo during round 3 of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Right now, even with some of that bot lane CS starting to get out in front for light. Yeah, move over to mid first, help Yigal get a safe window to roam, and then we can see here, right, JDG hoping to make the playoffs offside. He doesn't have level 6, Weaver's Wall gonna be taught, CDZ realizes he's in a lot of trouble, and he's getting a little bit of his own medicine thrown his way. They find him under turret, but he is able to kite his way to victory there. He has a big old wave coming, and Flandre is here to collapse. Doesn't get the Counter-Strike off there, they don't really have CC, but they do have the damage. They'll be able to take out the top side, they will be able to get first blood and even some breaks. Over, so pretty decent objective control so far from JDG. Oh, they don't know. Missing on the side. Wavo, you gotta be careful. Fate's Call is not available. Tibbers is. You have that ability to get the big CC stun. TP coming in now. That will be Flandre joining the tussle. They're gonna join a party and JDG are looking for blood. Chase the Corruption goes on the light. They know they can't do it. And that's a double going over to JDG. It feels like they're getting to the root of Wavo. Second dragon going to JDG. Weibo do opt they out have found a way to uproot the system of Weibo. Now Weibo may be looking to uproot Flandre in the side lane. He is a Jax. Oh, gets the flash out. Delivery to Xiao Hao, and they'll clean him up easy. Xiao Hu finally gets one on the board for Weibo, but they do to study their opponent. They've been able to craft a strategy here to really take down Weibo, and at least the early strength right now, they're showing that all that time, all that preparation, that third seed was there for a reason, and they want that the GA. It's a sneaky base. I, I was gonna go with something that maybe rhymed a little bit better, but now it's JDG that don't do it sneakily, they're just gonna do it. Uh, I guess it's not envisioned right now. They do realize something could be amiss. Already about halfway down is the Baron Shahau. Or guiding his boar over. Destiny does get popped. ZDZ on the flank here. Ruler already about half healthy. Engage comes through from JDG now as well, though. Light getting engaged up by missing. Chains of Corruption not going to hit the cleanse as big. Oh. Shahu's doing some serious work here. They've already gotten Ruler down. Weibo has some fight left to give. Oh no, they get Shahu. He's going to go. Is he? No, he's not down. He finally falls. Shahu goes down to Flandre. Crisp is stuck between a rock and a rock, and he's just dead. JDG, they end up scrapping right back. Now they're back onto the Baron. Yeah, Jay oh, wait! CDC! He Fight denies you them! And they find Xiao Hao, though. That would be a pretty nice kill to have. Then they can even push him, maybe even turn back around. He could. Xiao Hao tried his best. He is a tanky boar, but he will be carved up just the same. Missing's the one that claims that one. Yeah, so they do get it. They actually can't turn back around. They don't have to go back to it because JDG know they can just force the fight. The Baron is going to go to Kanavi. He has that Crescent Guard to deny any damage from Weibo. Or, but and it just feels like it's probably too late at this point. Ooh. Now he's going to hope to steal it. Yo, he wants the 50 50. Oh no, CDZ. Oh, what happened, bro? He's gone. Shao Hao. He wants it. He's in the pit. Show oh, he gets, gets it. it. He denies the soul. Do what they end up and opting for. And it's crazy that a uh, ZDZ Kanavi is end up pulling off the Baron, just trying to get Weibo's pressure towards here. They're really trying to get ZDZ to pull the trigger on the Destiny. <laughs> Weibo actually now threatening the Baron themselves. They it's can't okay. get caught though. They can't get caught. Here comes Yigao. That's a big Emperor's divide, but it did not separate enough. Chains of Corruption is going to connect on multiple members. Destiny from the side. ZDZ. He has his eyes on Kanavi. Kanavi's getting low. Meanwhile, on the other side, Xiao, who's getting taken out. Flandre. He's going for it. Nice flash from Chris. Really big. Weibo still have some fight here too, as Light needs to find an angle. Xiao Hao will be the front line right now. Andre and the rest of JDG, they have a good angle to deny Weibo back to their base. Dragon is still up on the table. Weibo need to fight their way out of this one. They're going to get a TP in from Yagao. He has flash. They got to fight beforehand, but they realize they can't. Show how trying to get out of this one. ZDZ flashing. Big seismic <laughs> shove, and Yagao makes the difference. Crisp is just a little itty. It will be run down by the real weapon of JDG and Flandre. Great team fight coming out from JDG. They're not even looking to go towards that dragon. Looks like they're hoping they could just end this game. Wow, what a way. Ten seconds. It's close. No, Xiao Hao, he could dodge anything, and that is it. You go clean in the house. That's a full-on okay. ace for JDG, and they'll take a mid lane in him.
Yeah, I, okay, so they ended up sending Flandre to Dragon. Uh, they initially started to bring him down towards that bot lane to help kill Xiaohao, but I love this. Take what you can on the map, get the inhibitor, get the Drake back off, and... I wonder if they'll even just pivot straight and towards then that's the point. You could get a bit overconfident, and then that's how we could end up getting a five-game series. And but that's how Weibo do it. I see, I see. You're just believing. You're uh, like manifesting. Andre, oh, he's manifesting his way onto the back line. He's all by himself, but it doesn't matter because he's able to take it down, use that Zanya as he completed. Chain of Corruption goes a little bit wide. A lot of damage there onto Weibo's back line, though. They are on to the Nexus turrets here. Yagao just peppering those rocks on the other side. Eventually, they will pile on to a boulder here. Here, JDG with the first Nexus turret god. Weaver's wall coming across too to block everybody off. Now they just need to get this Nexus turret down. Weibo have been left wanting in game number one as JDG, the Titan, has awakened. We are in uncharted territories. Weibo losing game one. Look at what JDG has. A lot of aggression come out on that half of the map. Rek'Sai as well. If Landre can get involved, maybe try and find some impact either around mid or in topside jungle himself with the strength of Rek'Sai. Wise, two grubbies went over to JDG. Dragon now started up from Weibo, but the Scuttle Crab take might delay them. They're just going to go for it anyways with the presence they have from bot side. Yeah, just going <laughs> to... Just gonna have Shao do that one by himself is a bit surprising that they're gonna commit light over at least for a bit. But it looks like with how the wave state was, I like it. They're actually bringing over Shao Hu as well. So members gonna be here, make sure that no sneaky shenaniganry can come out from Kanavi. Ooh, but sneaky shenaniganry is afoot here. Kanavi is looking for Shao Hu on the transition. Yes, does end up walking around the long way, so he won't go for it just yet. Yagao, he does not have the tippers, but he does have the CC. Xiao Hu getting kicked. The CC got to connect. They're going to go for it under tower here, but they can't get the damage down. Yagao gets out of the seismic shove. JDG's play goes awry. Bot side, Weibo. though. Weibo looking to get their own swing in. Chris tanking the turret. He's going to go into the face call. Now they're going to get first blood, too, and they get out alive. A juggle complete. A turret play taken, and Weibo are first. Another movement combo from Xiao Hu. That we want to see. Weaver's wall is available. They could go bot. Ooh. Yagao has TP though, and Kanabi's here. Yeah, they don't know that just yet. He is going to be playing off the wave. Tidal wave coming in. Ruler is the focus right now. Fate's call going to be the play again. Crescent guard out. Ruler's down. President has been taken down, but Kanabi gets one right back. And already, already paying for the flash that he just lost, right? If he had that, might have been able to escape here. Uh, with the one kill they had, without that, is just going to end up being a one for one. So nice read by JDG, matching the play. And want to make good on his advantage. They can't do it though. The mini wave isn't there. No, so he's going to try and back off. He's kind of baiting them, but Crisp Bring is them waiting all. in the wings. But there's no equalizer <laughs> on the rumble. Oh, the void rush coming in, and here comes the Rek'Sai. Crisp is here, though, with those harpoons. They sink deep. They're electrifying. ZDZ's got the speed from the ghost, but he can't make it out even from that Q3 knockback. I think a bit of a strange, like, stay from ZDZ. You know they're doing they're doing the objective so they can easily rotate the top side. Again, Chris was moving up, but Chris didn't have equalizer at the time. So even him not really providing much help on, on the rumble. So really just giving over a free kill to JDG. They at least will be able to answer back with a turret for themselves. But first but, uh, turret went to JDG. Yeah, huge. You see 86% uh, main fights. TP coming through for Shahu. They actually are going to just come into this one. Equalizer is going to be utilized now as well. Light try to hop to skip his way into the fight. Xiaohu going to use the Weaver's Wall. Now they are caught out. Ruler over the wall. You got stuck. He is in some trouble. He's going to flash his way out there. Nice triple knockback, though. The Flandre is on the other side. They still are trying to catch out Kanavi. He's still alive, though. Look how much damage the Tippers is doing. And with that Malignance, so much burning on the ZDZ. And the Dragon is JDGs. These teams know how to box, man. And we ain't stopping oh, just yet. Xiao who's trying to separate, but a big bubble on a Xiao how nobody else gonna go down. Everyone's still alive. The dragon got taken out, and I couldn't be more entertained. I'm a bit surprised that Wavebook don't get punished for what feels like another very questionable. The flash! Oh, Andre. oh my god, Vondre, you Chad! He goes and Void Rush a plenty too, and they have found the back line. Kanavi's under turret though. He's taking the turret shots. Another one falls, and JDG Light finds one on the other side though and gets a big shutdown onto Kanavi. They will end up getting the outer tower here for JDG. Yagao wants a little bit more, but they come the out. Last one very much kind of ended up being just a zoning tool, which I don't know if Label even wanted to zone, considering that they then went for the engage. <laughs> a little bit of uh, desync. Oh! 
Speaking what? of desync, Wait. that feels so bad. Wait Ruler a burns the flash, the ignite, the ulti, and takes down light. My god, that is huge. And that is the ruler that people have wanted to see looking for those opportunities. Taking out light, now going to give them even more freedom on the map. Sadly, not really oh, much no. they can pivot it into, but we're going to go straight into Dude, the replay. This is what he's so good at. Yeah, gets buffed up by the Nami. I mean, Ignite comes out. That's really all she wrote. Uh, light, not having flash up, not being able to escape. Ruler has been one of the utmost experts to that kind of fog of war gameplay that we see so prominent with LPL Lucian. I think especially on Lucian, him. yeah. Yeah, no, exactly. In LPL Lucian, a lot of the time in late game, that's what we see them play for. And Ruler has been insane in those moments. Now, the guy was going to have to pull a little insanity of his own. He's just locked down from hell. Flandre has joined the fight, though. He's going to be able to get some good knockups here, but he has nobody joining him. Void Rush to try to get the safety, but he's just going down for the count. Shao cleans him up. And now Weibo can move forward as five onto oh, the three members of JDG. Wait, the three members. The three members are actually more than strong enough to hold Weibo at bay. Yo, yo, yo. Xiaohu's in a lot of trouble here. Kanavi, if he... Uh, that might be a point of contention, especially if Xiaohu or ZDZ can find their way on top of him. The last time around, nobody died. This time around, oh, the Grim Reaper's just waiting on the side. There is no way we get out without any blood spilled here. Flandre going back into the pit using his tunnels. He does have the Void Rush available, everything available. Looking for Yagao's big Flash TP, or at least Flash Tipper's play, rather. Xiaohu looking for a big Weaver's Wall. Dragon resets there as the Dragon comes through the weaver's wall separates it at least they find zdz on the side that's going to be a big equalizer over from chris weibo are still trying to fight the dragon here but ruler's going to pull the calling trigger flandre fighting over on a zdz dragon's getting low shaohao's the one that gets it that's soul point you got flash play though with the tippers knocked back into infinity flandre's on shaohu now as well weibo they've got to find a way to give the fight kanavi going on the back line too but he can't do it light is able to fight back and Crisp is burning them alive with his namesake. Yagao gets a double. The rest is up to Weibo to make it out alive. We finally had blood, and it's going to be JDG favored. I mean, Weibo tr taking advantage of the fact that so many members of JDG get separated, but once again, JDG finding, finding more than enough to be happy. We got to say the silver lining, right? Weibo is on soul point now. So the fact that they were able to get that dragon is huge. But Be Jin already in the first two games. They are just positioning to fight before this dragon. Again, man, I love Ruler looking for the small windows, but he separated. They have Ruler. They have he Ruler. They caught him out. Not like this. Nightmares are coming back to hunt JDG. And now Weibo, they can move into this dragon. They can look for soul here. Going for it, they're running them down. They have numbers advantage. You go! You go! He gets the double play there. They have the Crescent Guard for Chow How. It's actually separating so much damage, but Kanavi finds Crisp anyways. Light try to fight over. Ends up cleaning on you go, but it's still Wait. JDG fighting tooth and nail. ZDZ claims Kanavi's life. Missing tier to help Blondre. And who but the man in the top lane can make the difference? Who but Blondre, the world champion? And who but this man on Rek'Sai could deny Weibo's hopes and dreams as he tears him limb from limb. He's still fighting him down, and it's JDG who clean house. Vladre coming out huge from that fight. Again, they first take this Rek'Sai. It needed. Fight potential. They have Kanavi with a damage build, and they're just going to burn this purple worm down. And they really don't have any great flank wards down or vision set up for ZDZ, so he's just going to have to keep in with the team and run at them head first. Run at them, if you will. Will it crack their skull, or will it be as hard as iron? Xiaohu's skull is already looking a little cracked. As Ruler still in there, they're going to force this Baron flip. Xiaohu's right on the edge. Wind becomes there lightning. Xiaohu, he's in the pit. It's a 50-50, but guess who gets it? It's the engine that runs JDG. It's Kanavi, and they onto the back line. Nice double kick there. It's huge as he's going to find light, too. He's running him down on the other side. Xiaohu, he's onto the back line, but he can't do it. He can't stick it. Ruler on the other side, and Ruler outplays him. A double kill, and everyone is still there. There for JDG, Flandre the willing sack. In game one, 
They took a little bit of Weibo's medicine and threw it right back to them. In game two, they introduced them to a whole nother level of hell as they have reared their heads and they are looking to sweep Weibo 2-0 look because they do have a I feel like a bar of execution to reach but so do Weibo on their side Shaha is gonna have a really kind of weird role in this I regard agree. yeah because you look at it like he's an easy role uh in terms of okay punish it and match roams or be the one first to roam he's gonna be sitting still and so Shahu can play a little bit more mobile around that Hey, you can see them trying to punish that now in the mini map, actually. It's, oh, oh ZDZ. ZDZ doesn't hit the flash cue sweet spot. It feels a little bad. Oh, he might get punished pretty heavily for that one. Flandre, he's going for it. Oh, he doesn't heal? get it. See, heal, but it doesn't matter. He walks away. Flandre getting the solo, but he gives it right back. Yeah, so it's a going one for one with the fact that junglers are behind them. ZDZ trying his best to survive with that heal. Crit, Me too. Up. Ruler going to take a lot of damage there from the piercing arrow. Chris going to look to lock him down. Uh, it's going to be coming up. Yeah, Flash cleanse immediately. Ruler able to play at the knife's edge here. Flash from light. He's going for it. He just needs it. Nice hook. Ho, ho, ho. We said they were one of the best bot lanes for JDG. Well, they have been punished. Flashbacks to that game two in their regular season series where they found the 2v2 kill able to top do it. Top on top side. So they're looking good on objectives. And that's a far cry from the first two games. Yeah, and even having knowledge, Flandre waiting in that brush probably probably is an inkling that Kanavi's in the area or does not. I don't think he does, but uh, they're going to know now. And <laughs> Kanavi's going to show his face, Cyclone to the face, and ZDZ will just go down. JDG pick up their second kill of the game. Yep, nice return by Kanavi, and I'll say it, Mazel. This either has to be a 3-0 or, or a five-game series. We are not having any 3-1s here today. We need, you know, it either needs to be one-sided or go the distance. That's what Weibo are looking for, isn't it? Paranoid. Actually, maybe Chris was looking for that. Oh, uh, he does end up finding it anyways, because missing is not level six yet, and Light claims it. 2-0 for Light, finally on a sustained damage carry, and this is the style. Glide an advantage, or Shaohu and Shao finding just the perfect angle to get on the back line and, and delete someone together, but again, that should be hard against the tools that JDG has available to them. He's taking a tussle into Kanavi. He's going to burn his Cyclone. Paranoia used. Here comes the Weaver's Wall. So this is the kind of combo we want to see from Weibo. They catch out Kanavi. That's big. As Shaohu claims that one. Now Yagao taking some rocks to the face. Flandre finding a yellow card on Shaohu. Chris might find missing. He does take the engage over here. He does have light in the lane. He was ghost earlier when Kanavi got engaged on. So... That was just, yeah, just Andre playing with their minds. He's got Destiny available, so he can come join this one. TP is there for ZDZ. JDG are positioning around this one to try to contest. Andre's making his way over. He's walking down. Oh, Kanavi's already going on to Shaohu. There is the cage drop, though. Depth Charge going to be used, and Mystic's already out of the fight. Now Ruler is going to have to hop his way out, but Ultra Shock Laser on the back line. ZDZ is there, but Shaohu on the other side has already fallen. ZDZ try to take down Ruler. Flash coming out of the Zeri. Dragon secured by JDG. Now ZDZ is going to world end his way to a death. And Weibo, they've got to find an exit strategy. It's feeling a little bit like this series holistically. They just can't find a way out. And as darkness settles in, it's all JDG. JDG with the huge mind games and letting Weibo think they had their number in the regular season for the biggest gotcha. Exactly right. I mean, hell, IG looked incredibly vulnerable. They only had beaten one other playoff team, which was BLG. LNG also were incredibly sloppy throughout the season, you know, heavily criticized, especially earlier on for their weak form. Like, there was a lot to exploit there for those teams. But JDG, sure, there have been some flaws. And, like, they don't always have the cleanest wins. But, again, I, I feel like it's it's a fool's errand to, like, not consider JDG a, a top team. They're and they're really playing with the side lane. Like, Quadre is side lane in ZDZ. A tried and true nature of Weibo. Now they're going to try to collapse on a ruler. Death Charge does connect Seismic Shove as well. They will sacrifice his life, and Light picks up another kill for Weibo. So they do find one. Uh, that will be a nice reprieve for them. Yigal, of course, not having TP to be able to come down and join any of the action. 
So, oh, oh, he missed the flash, but he still gets the lockdown anyways. Paranoia is there. They find Flandre on the back line, though, but that fear is not going to be enough. Shaohu's doing some work, though. Finally, they realize that's who they need to target. A double kill for Mystic of all people. And Flandre soloing down Shaohu. Here comes your girl. You're locked in here with JDG. And ZDZ has to first force his flash out. And that is another dominant victory in a team. Summoner's Rift. I can understand it. I wouldn't drive either. <laughs> well, JDG are driving straight into the tier 2 tower yeah. down here. And uh, they're just going to take that one easy. Xiao Hao is here on the Yigao. Missing's there. The oh my god. Weibo just needs something. You can feel the desperation here. Yigao is the full focus. They are going to take him out. That is a decent amount of gold going over to Xiao Hao. He might actually grab Missing as well. Ooh. Ah, oh, does end up going down. Missing tries to live by an honor code. Is Andre might die here? Oh, oh, he's, oh dead he's taking here. the turret shots light, my baby boy. Look at him go. Are we not stopping now? Kanavi, we're chasing our Chow How. He's speedy, speedy guy. <laughs> Luckily, there's a person that throws rocks right there. Oh. A person. It feels like it's just so tense because JDG are JDG are playing like. Hey guys, we need to win one more game. Like, like let's 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 not make mistakes. Let's keep it cool. Let's play it a bit slower. And Weibo, for the opposite reason, doing similar things, uh, being just very hesitant. And right, I feel like a slower game again with the carries JG has should favor them. But Weibo are actually pulling the Baron this time. And Kanabi is nowhere even close. Nowhere so they might have just given this one up. TP coming in as well. Weibo just slipped the rug. And they went with that sneaky bear. And you talked about earlier. Missing. Trying to catch somebody out. He went in way too early. And just gets soloed out by himself. An Ultra Shock laser came across. But JDG. They can't get Weibo. All the quick backs coming through. Weibo stopped their backs. They actually want to stay. They caught Flandre out. He's going to burn his flash though. Yagao trying to ult down Chris. That primordial burst will not be enough. JDG oh. still looking to stop the backs. Shao Hao stops his. Everyone's and here on the comes, way. Here comes Kanavi. He's on his way to close this trap. Yagao and Flandre leading the way. Ruler is right behind them. Weibo, what are you going to do? You're stuck in a pickle. It might be quick catch 22. They're just standing there staring at each other. Here comes ZDZ behind, though. They are waiting for their Aatrox to get a big flank. They are also waiting for Missy to come in. Everybody's what waiting. Who's going to go to? Everybody. But he's staring at each other menacingly. And Kanavi, he wants the angle. He wants the cutoff. He realizes that Weibo are now desynced. Chris gives his life, but he will be the only one to fall in the end. And to be able to play with a little bit more confidence. Dragon Soul for JDG started up. Yeah, he's actually chasing down ZDZ. So they're on it. They're doing it. They just fast. burn it. They just burn it. They just get it. Flandre, he's looking on the other side. He's actually looking for ZDZ. Meanwhile, it's completely split. ZDZ is trying to get back to his team, but he's all alone. And Kanavi cleans that one up all day. Missing survives in the four-man engage from Weibo. And there's nothing that Weibo can do. You have a mobile carries on Weibo side that, that are so easy to, easy to punish with what JDG have drafted. Uh, feels like Weibo... More would have to look back at what they could have done earlier, but still, someone could overstep. You have a bunch of CC on Weibo's side. So, if Ruler or Yagal ever walk too far forward, you can try to burst them out before anyone can really respond, but that's what I'm looking at, trying to find a pick. Side lane turrets falling one after another to Flandre, though. Mid lane almost down as well. Weibo stuck in the middle. If they're going to go for Flandre. Weaver's wall over as well. They might be able to get him, but he destinies his way out. Oh, man. He just can't catch this guy. He's got a smooth criminal vibe right now. And JDG almost end up finding light under turret. They do get the Chains of Corruption out as well. The Depth Charge, that's a lot used. Oh, oh my God, Ruler. And there's the combo. JDG has smelled the blood in the water for a while now. And Weibo, you've been left wanting. Dry in the desert. Your fingers crack on the edge of the cliff. The abyss waiting for you below. And JDG crush those fingers one by little one. They have a date with Top Esports. And our third seed is Dominic. Our These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and Weibo. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.